Hey everyone, it's Aaron Laurie with Plan Free. We're uh, coming at you. We've been in Puerto Escondido now for about five weeks, I think, and we're gonna share with you some of our first impressions on the area. Uh, keep in mind that we are still sort of new here. We're only in our fifth week of about a three to six month stay. So these are our first impressions. First and foremost, one of the main reasons why we picked this area, now there's many beautiful beach towns in Mexico, why would you pick Puerto Escondido? For us, one of the deciding factors, sight unseen anyway, was that they had a surf break and continuous waves. And Lori and I love to body surf. It's one of our main uh, activities as far as cardiovascular exercise when we're here in climates like this. Mm -hmm. But the last thing we want to do is sit in a stuffy gym and uh, get on the treadmill for an hour. We'd rather do that same hour body surfing waves and scraping up our nose yeah and our first impression anyway is that the body surfing here has been excellent once you dial in your tides and your wind speeds and your wave heights times of day the body surfing here we've had several excellent sessions probably about three times a week and we will be doing a video on that sometime soon sharing with you some of the things we do to body surf some of the bigger waves around here so much fun yeah if you're wondering how we can hang out in places like this for six months every year, you can check out our sister channel, Plan Free Finance and Abundance, where we talk about some of the things financially that we did to rearrange our lifestyle to gain financial independence. Our point number two for our first impressions here in Puerto is that there is an endless array of cuisines out there besides the delicious Oaxacan Mexican cuisine, which we love mm -hmm. almost daily. We eat this most often. I mean, tacos uh, galore and just local local ladies cooking up in their pot. But there's an endless array of other cuisines out there. Any, anything from Argentinian, we've seen Peruvian, Vietnamese, Italian. Middle Eastern. We've seen Polish. Yes. Japanese. Even, yeah. Just tons. And sometimes at a price, a little bit more of a touristy nicer restaurant and sometimes really affordable. If any of you out there happen to know of any other cuisines besides the ones we've mentioned, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, we'll it'll check give, them out. <laughs> it'll give us something new to hit. Our next point is the fact that, surprising to us anyway, Puerto Escondido seems like it's a boom town right now and we're familiar with seeing many construction projects in the towns and cities that we stay in internationally, but we have to say that it seems like right now in Puerto that almost everyone has a construction project or two on the go and so you'll almost doesn't matter where you're staying you'll hear or see construction going on right in your area and a little bit of a drive or walk in any direction it doesn't matter you'll see many construction projects going right now here on the uh, construction project that's going uh, out our other window much closer to us than the trucks are so you can see that there's, you know, uh, five or six guys out on the roof. Uh, and this is every day. Si, sí, muy tranquila. That's right, Shrimpinez. It is just pure heaven here. Six guys, seven guys on the roof. They're looking at me, I'm looking at them. Our expectation of the area before we got here anyway was a little bit more of a sleepy town, fishing village sort of thing. And it is that, but it mm -hmm. also seems like it's hustle and bustle as far as growing, hopefully to accommodate for demand in the area. But there's lots on the go right now. Further to this point, we found that the selection of real estate in our price range anyways, rental wise, was in short supply. Now this could be seasonal because we're just about a week before Christmas right now and we were looking for our accommodations around a month before Christmas. So perhaps we were seeing higher prices than in the off season, for example. Yes, two points to that is when Aaron and I were looking for our apartment that we settled on, we actually went to a shared property scenario where there was multiple rooms in a big yard shared with a shared pool. And we bumped into a young man who had been living there longer term and he said that his rent's pretty reasonable but he doesn't like the fact that in december his rent almost doubles it jumps way up and he has no choice but to pay that in order to get back to january february 
and the rest of the year's lower rent. So that struck a chord that even a longer term fellow has to pay an increased price in December alone. And then bumping into other locals at the gym and, and on the streets, they've told us that in the last year, they've seen their rents increase quite a bit and they're longer term folks in the area. So the next point is what everyone's interested in, I'm assuming, and that is <laughs> the beaches. The uh, proximity, the variability and the beauty of the beaches in and around the area was definitely above expectations oh, yeah. for us. I mean, within a 10, 15 minute walk and certainly within a 15 minute scooter or taxi, you, you've got access to six or eight different beaches and they all will give different people different things. So depending on what you're interested in when you get to the beach, you can find one that will suit your needs. Anything from calm, almost waveless beaches for just hanging out, holding the lounge chair down with the odd dip to cool off and do mm -hmm. some snorkeling, or gigantic waves like Playa Zicatella, or sort of, let's say medium waves and anything in between. We'll be doing a dedicated video walking you guys through all the different beaches here and the different things and activities they offer. Mm -hmm. Our next point is the prevalence and availability of seafood. Before we arrived here, we had read that Puerto is a fishing village and that seafood could potentially be readily available. Now we've lived in fishing towns and um, seafront locations in the past and oftentimes those locations would sell all of their best fresh catch in the morning and they would go right from the boats to the restaurants, leaving little to none for the everyday person to buy fresh seafood with. We're delighted to say that our first impression here in Puerto Escondido is that there is tons of fresh seafood available, many different varieties, basically all you can eat. Yeah. You can purchase it right off the ocean from the boats or you can, if you're in Buenito Juarez market or several other markets, you can purchase it maybe an hour difference from the boat to the market. So extremely fresh, very prevalent. We're delighted to see what we're seeing so far. Yes, we are. Our point number seven is about the people in Puerto, the local people. Yes, there's expats here too, but the, the Mexican Oaxacans, our first impression from, we've met many gym owners, restaurant owners, places we've purchased food at, the market vendors, and our impression of Oaxacan people truly is that they're just good, pleasant, down-to-earth, hard-working people. Yeah, so far so good. It's been uh, a pleasant experience interacting with these folks so far. We've enjoyed them. So as you look more into Puerto Escondido, we recommend you watch this video next. This is our first impressions video on the area. We're Aaron Laurie and this is Plan Free. If you like what we're talking about, click the like button. If you want to follow along in our adventures and mishaps over the next six months here in Puerto Escondido or Mexico at large, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the blue bell icon so you always know when the next video is coming out.